nitroglycerin, our ST segment elevation MI patients. I will say this. Uh, with the inferior MI. Before administering any nitro of any nature to a patient who you suspect is having a STEMI, you would need to perform a right-sided ECG to rule out right ventricular uh, involvement. Uh, it's simple. Uh, once you've moved uh, lead V4 over to the right side, we run the 12 lead. If there's any ST segment elevation greater than 0.5 millimeters in V4R, it is positive right ventricular involvement. All right, now, the setup of nitroglycerin um, is uh, a, not tricky, but it's going to take some, uh, some detail here. So this is a glass bottle. It's not vented. It's not going to collapse uh, as the fluid comes out. So when you spike that tubing, you're going to have to open the vent so that air can go into the bottle as it begins to infuse. So make sure that's very, very important uh, that you have that set up correctly. Now with the vent closed, no air goes up inside. Vent closed. Vent open. All right, let's set it up. So let's get started with programming of our nitro. So the infusion uh, can be started at 10 micrograms per minute. We can titrate to effect by 10 micrograms per minute every three to five minutes until we've reached the desired uh, pain-free uh, effect. Now the ceiling dose on our nitro in this situation is 200 micrograms per minute. Now you can start at a higher dose. Nope, we're not going to do a bolus. No, we're not using the last therapy. And no, we're not going to use the drug library. In this situation, the volume to be infused is... 250 milliliters. So let's add that guest appearance here. Now scroll up to dose, our two special functions, then dose rate calculation, concentration. What is the concentration? It's 25 milligrams in 250 milligrams in milliliters. The concentration amount, 25. Again, our volume, 250. Is it weight-based? No, it is not. So, plus a dose, it's micrograms per minute. So, before you start, make sure that the Vent is open for no flow. All right, so if you want to review what's going on out there, if you hit the, uh, the back or the clear button here, it'll tell you what rate you're using, milliliters per hour, your concentration, the dose that you have chosen, the volume you have remaining, and the time you have remaining. To change the dose, click the left arrow here, and now you can go down or up. Once you have selected OK, then it will start infusing at that specific rate, uh, or sorry, dose that you have changed it to.